Thanks for joining me today for another how-to video with the Hikvision cameras. In my demo today I'll be using the Dome camera. The model number is DS2CD2132I. This model has a manual pan and tilt and today I'm going to show you how that's done with this model. Once the glass dome is removed you're going to notice one of these little bags of beads attached on the inside. No need to try to remove it, it's not going to get in your way. This is there simply to absorb any moisture that may become present within the sealed dome. So to pan the camera, it's pretty straightforward. You just need to twist it. Keep an eye on the wires. You don't want to stress the wires by pulling on them too tight. If you need to go all the way around to the other side, well then just twist it the other way around. Tilting the camera is a little bit more challenging. It's secured pretty tight. But there's a screw on the side of the camera that has a plastic washer. So just loosen that one up slightly and you should be able to adjust the camera up and down. If you can't adjust it, don't try to force it. There's another solution. So what we're going to do is remove the plastic top and get access to the two hinging screws on each side. So just give it a squeeze on each side and pop it off. So again, it still won't move. So use a Phillips screwdriver to loosen up the screws on each side. You don't need to loosen them very much, just enough so that the lens will pivot. And there you go, it's able to move. So just place it in the correct spot that you want. And it will only go up to 90 degrees and it will go down to close to 10 to 12 degrees. Once it's in the correct spot, no need to tighten the hinge screws up, just tighten the one up that has the washer on it and that will keep it in solid place. Now your next challenge, and probably the biggest one, is putting the black cover back on over the top of the camera. There are two little plastic tabs that need to fit on the outside of the metal tabs on each side. Once that's in place, the, uh, the cover has to be perfectly flush with the metal uh, on each side as well. And I'll just show you that here as I'm struggling to put it on. In fact, let's just fast forward this until I get it figured out. So you may have noticed that the glass cover will not go on properly until that plastic piece is perfectly in place. There are little indentations on each side in the metal to make sure that it goes on, on correctly. And it will be flush, the metal and the plastic will be flush. So once that's done, then you could place the, uh, the cover back on into the right spot. I've got lots of other IP camera setup videos on my channel, so go ahead and check them out and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.